This is Jacob Boker with the United Songwriters Association and CritiqueReview.com.com.com. That's some great news for our listeners. I'm here to say you can now listen to our radio broadcast via the phone at 619-550-0516, channel 3, 619-550-0516. Just a foreign country Too bad I lost you and you'll never find me I remember the way your eyes would stare right at me And the way it would attract me When we got back it just wasn't we
All right. Welcome to a Day in Austin radio show. My name is Jacob Boker, along with Austin from A Night in Austin and A Day in Austin. Broadcasting live from Sherlock's off the 183. This is A Day in Austin. Hi, my name is Austin. I'm the marketing manager for A Day in Austin and A Night in Austin. Uh, I've been involved since January, uh, just creating packages and kind of revamping uh, our services and kind of what we provide. All right, we're going to be talking about some of the upcoming events, live music, and what to look forward to in 2014. Can you tell us a couple of the top topics you guys are talking about in 2014? Uh, yeah, uh, the biggest one uh, right off the bat I want to talk about is our theme song contest that we have going on. Um, we ha Entries can be submitted between now and September 1st, and basically we just want a live recording that you submit to YouTube and just send the uh, link to song at a night in Austin dot com and that's so there's going to be a song a theme song contest for because basically Austin being the live music capital doesn't have a theme song which is kind of weird a few other cities have something similar but Austin itself doesn't have a theme song so we figured why not have something to kind of bring the music community together which is really extensive here in Austin and give somebody a contest and something fun to do so we're just we're hoping to come together in September and have by uh, October 2nd we'll have a, a winner and we'll have a big premiere um, and we'll have more details as, as that comes together all right now for that um, the vision of that is that and the whole aspect and the event itself, is that sponsored by you guys or is that just something that you guys are promoting as the promoters of the night in Austin? No, that is, we are sponsoring that. So you that guys are gonna, sponsoring yeah. that, that is your it event. Will, it will be, the, you know, a night in Austin's theme song for Austin, Texas. All right, so where do they submit the song again? To song at a night in Austin dot com. Can you say it one more time? Song at a night in Austin dot com. So if you guys want your song or want to create or write the next theme song for Austin, the city of Austin, make sure you go ahead and email your songs over and start writing them now. When are they due by? September 1st. And all you have to do is just submit a live recording uh, that you've uploaded to YouTube and just email us the link. All right. We're going to go ahead and play a little bit of music. We have Jake, uh, Jacob Hughes. He's from the Hughes Brothers Theater in Branson, Missouri. He actually came down a couple weeks ago, saw us, and he actually played a little song for us. So we're going to play that for you folks, and we'll be back right after this. Hello, my name is Jacob Hughes. I work here at the Hughes Brothers Theater. And this is a song I wrote, wrote called Meadows.
All right, and we're back with a night and a day in Austin. So we're with Austin, and right now we're talking a little bit about all the events they have coming up, stuff they have going on throughout the year. But I I want to know a little bit about how you guys got started. Can you tell me a little bit about the day in Austin and what you guys do and who you promote? Yeah, um, it probably best if I expressed a little bit or told a little bit about the the, the network in general. Um, the the network we're the local franchise of what has become a, a global network. Um, the the parent company is, you know, the Night Out Network. Uh, there's about 470 or so uh, cities between U.S. and Canada, and 50 plus international with like Dubai, Hong Kong, and London, and a few others that are really starting to spread. The whole network itself is only about six to seven years old, uh, so it itself is very fresh and very young. A night in Austin has been around for about five years, and a day in Austin is very young at about a year and a half old. So it's it's very very much growing uh, right now. We do a lot to bring in the tourism dollar with Austin, um, being how we're in so many other cities. When people are looking to find out what's going on in Austin when they're coming here for one of the many conferences or events or things that we have here in Austin, they know to look up our website and to find out what's going on. We are in the process of making our network be something to where the local Austinite can utilize our calendar and our events and, and find out and use our website to for themselves to know what's going on around town. All right. And I know with the day in Austin, you guys really go out there and help promote uh, local businesses, local companies. You like to do all local stuff because, like, even in the name, it's a day or a night in Austin. It's not a day or a night in Texas or New right. Orleans or somewhere else. So it is a day or a night in Austin. By promoting some of the local companies, we have um, uh, some companies such as our special guest coming up, Betty Moore with the Moore Energy Biz. She's going to come talk to us, tell us a little bit about what she does, and then from there we'll keep talking a little bit more about the events coming up, um, some of the top venues for the night, some of the top entertainment for the uh, night in Austin, then some of the top venues and things along with the day in Austin. So, And we can touch on some of the stuff that we're doing to give back to the community as well. All right. So I guess um, we'll go ahead and introduce Betty Moore with... Um, more, more energy dot biz. More energy dot biz. All right, Betty, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your company? Okay, more energy dot biz. I joined Ambit Energy as a consultant about three years ago, and I became my own business, which was more energy dot biz. More is M O O R E, and I spelled energy just N E R G Y dot biz because I thought the double E was redundant. <laughs> <laughs> so to make it easy for people to type. And what we do is we help people get less uh, less expensive energy. We save people about 33% on their electric electricity bills in this area for those who are able to choose. And we reward them with energy, uh, a way to earn free energy, and I mean true free energy, because my electric bill was $9.32 this month. Well, not mine. Mine was a lot more than that. And the way we do that is after they join us, we give them a free website that goes only to their account, and they give this out to people and fr uh, friends and family, and they get people to sign up under their website. We average everybody's bills together and apply it to their bill, up to and including free electricity each and every month that everybody's paying their electricity bill. So oh, they wow. only have to get 15 people one time to start to earn free electricity for maybe two years or more, depending on how long everybody's still enrolled. Now, I know one of the big things going on in this area right now is something with the power companies. They're having, they monopolized, and now they're being broken down. So a lot of people who had a certain, uh, I guess, energy provider is now having to maybe look a elsewhere. A lot of, um, since the Supreme Court has ruled monopolies illegal and have determined that the energy companies are a monopoly and had to be deregulate. This started about seven years ago. Uh, so as the contracts come up for renewal with the Public Utilities Commission, they're not being renewed. So more and more people are being able to choose who their electricity provider in Texas is. This hasn't affected the natural gas companies as yet, but uh, it has in a lot of other states. And Ambit is in 13 states and Washington, D.C., by the way. So right. we're growing. We're a nationwide business. Oh, 
what if one of our listeners or a couple of our listeners out there are actually dealing with the change and everything going on? They're looking for a new power or energy supplier, but don't want to have to worry about is this company going to just come and go or is, are they going to you know be deregulated and not be able to supply us with the energy that we need? Uh, how can they get a hold of you and find out a little bit more information about this? They can go to my website, More Energy, M O O R E N E R G Y dot biz, and email me or research the company or even call me at 512 539 6792. What was that number one more time? 512 539 6792. And if someone's just interested in doing the business with me and having their own business, home based business, working part time or in full time, give me a call. I love helping people get into this. I love helping them learn the way to do their own business. All right. One more time, can you give them your name and information just so they have it? If they were maybe fumbling along and just picked up the pen right now. My phone number is 512-539-6792. My website is M-O-O-R-E-N-E-R-G-Y dot B-I-Z. And my name is Betty Moore. And let's get more energy. Thanks people. to all the nice people. Thanks to all the nice people. Thanks to all the nice people. Thanks to all the nice people. You can now visit all of our shows on YouTube. On YouTube. On YouTube. And I know that it's always mad. It's only to cover up its sad.
broadcasting live from a little table at Sherlock's off the 183. Welcome to a Day in Austin radio show. Welcome back, everybody. Um, yeah, so we wanted to now get into I guess, some of the events that we have going on with a Day in Austin. Um, first one that I wanted to bring up is one of our newest members and someone I'm very excited to be a part of. Um, there's you know pretty established here in Austin, and uh, that would be the Austin Pond Society. Um, if you like uh, enjoying being out in your backyard and watching the the sunset, like a lot of people do here in Texas. Um, I've been in plenty of backyards with an Austin Pond, and I don't know very many people that don't enjoy looking at koi fish. Yeah. <laughs> right. What events does the event coming on would be the their trade fair the Austin Papati Austin Pond Society trade fair with uh, water gardens ponds pond supplies koi that is Monday May 19th from 6 30 p.m. to 8 30 p.m. all right so we're talking about the Austin Pond Society how did you guys get involved with them or have you had the relation for a while they one of the newest um businesses that you guys are working with? How, how have you guys built that relationship? Uh, we've been in talks with them for a little while and um, just kind of establishing what type of uh, presence they wanted on the network, how we were going to partner up with them. Uh, we They've uh, actually just this last month um, became a member and uh, we started uh, promoting for them. All right, all right. In fact, they're, uh, they have their pond tour uh, which is a, an annual event that they do coming up in June. So, in fact, it's only two or three weeks away. Uh, but June 7th, uh, Saturday, June 7th, and Sunday, June 8th. Um, they have the, the from 9 to 5 on Saturday, which is the the South Ponds, and then they have the uh, Saturday night as well, and then Sunday from 9 to 5. Now, I have a question. This may be... A little off, but what if the event, like on the Austin Pond Society, falls between like 6:30 and 8:30, it's part day and part night? Where does that fall? And does that go into both websites, or does that fall into one website or one category? How would that work? Say that again. I'm sorry. Say the event happens like in the day and the night. Say it starts at 6:30 when it's still kind of daylight out, and then it goes into 8:30, which it's late. Would that fall into the day or the night? of your guys' website, or possibly both? Um, the unique thing about our, our network is the fact that it, some, some instances like this, it can fall into both. Um, and we do have different capabilities to be able to put it on both sides of the website. Uh, so it, there's, there's a lot of flexibility with, with what we're able to provide. And their I mean, they're, they're board of directors um, voted a day in Austin as the best route for advertising what they do. With, oh, our, wow, with, our, with our calendar, um, you know, our event calendar and things like that that we're able to do to really promote and advertise, especially because we do a lot of uh, Facebook, um, social media through like our Facebook and things like that. Yeah, that's huge, especially with so many options out there and their whole board of directors had voted you guys the best pick for that. That is awesome. Um, I think John from the Night in Austin should be coming in fairly soon, so... Can you tell us a little bit about him and how your guys' relationship works and how exactly uh, how he's involved with the day and the night in Austin? Yes. Uh, I met John last year. We had uh, connected, uh, you know, through uh, social media, and when we had a chance to sit down and, and kind of uh, look into working together on a, a, another project that I had, um, kind of found out that we were a good fit to really work together and partner up. And so uh, I've, I focused primarily on the day in Austin because it is so young and something we're really trying to get off the ground where a night in Austin, which has been around for a lot longer than a day in Austin, is a little bit more established. So I'm, we're definitely promoting and just still building the, a night in Austin. However, the, with the day in Austin being so young, that's where my main focus is as the marketing manager. Uh, however, it's, it's a really cool tandem. And so we've been working with, you know, creating a more of uh, pricing points for different packages and things like that with the services we provide, uh, uh, which is able to take what we have with the night in Austin and funnel it to the day in Austin and help. With a lot of your uh, focus right now on a day in Austin, and you're the one, when you pretty much came on board, it sounded like that's when you guys decided to take on the day in Austin. 
what would be some of the top events or some of the top things that maybe you've either had in the past or that you have to come up that uh, you would say would definitely help, uh, I guess, establish or really uh, highlight the day in Austin? Like what uh, events or things that we're doing to highlight a day in Austin? Well, no, like what, what is like one of the major events that you've been to to like do the day in Austin that you've just been like one of like the major events in a, either the area, some big concert. I know, um, I know the night in the night in um, the night in Austin does a lot of um, venues, a lot of music, music artists, a lot of stuff in the entertainment realm. But as far as the day in Austin, what are some of the major events that you guys have been involved with or participated in? Okay, I got you. Um, honestly, the nonprofits and the charities. Um, in fact, real, uh, we can go into more later, but I just wanted to plug part of what we're doing with the theme song contest and part of the my biggest um, drive with building the network is we create a free basic profile for nonprofits and charities. We've actually uh, in the process of and are partnering up with Swansong, which is a, a local charity which does intimate uh, concerts for terminally ill, similar to Make-A-Wish Foundation, but they, right. do, they do uh, intimate concerts for uh, end-of-life patients, um, usually it's at their bedside, whether in a hospice or a nursing home, um, and I look awesome. forward to having you know them on here and then to go more in detail about them later. Um, well, it almost yeah, seems I, like you guys are able to take some of the concepts from the night and integrate them to the daytime to actually exactly. go help people exactly. or help businesses. So. And another one, I, I'm, I'm very excited to know the founder and, and excited to help promote but ATX Safer Streets is a, a very new up and startup charity and nonprofit which is all about helping create more options and better options for overnight parking and for getting downtown after going to a concert whether drinking or not that is an issue that Austin uh, the city of Austin has that there's someone already involved with the city council the uh, Austin Police Department and everything so we'll, we'll have them on here shortly as well but that a lot of the nonprofits and the charities um, which there's a lot here in Austin but they don't always get a voice on something uh, like a network like we have mm -hmm. and I'm excited to really help team them up with events uh, like we have uh, starting in July we'll be starting up a, a new music showcase and we'll vary the genres a little each month so it won't be the same. We will have multiple multi-genre shows. Uh, I'm sure down the road. But it's all about just giving new artists a place to play. It almost seems like you guys have something for everybody, almost in in a sense. For you're talking all genres. It could be the oldies or the goodies or the new school or. Unlike unlike other cities, New Orleans is known for their blues and jazz. Absolutely. Um, Nashville is known for their country folk. Mm -hmm. Austin is known for music. Yeah, music we don't capital. have a genre. We're yeah. not we're not the the this genre session. No, we country, punk, metal, folk, indie, uh, hip hop. A little bit of we it have all. A lot of uh, DJs too, um, from dubstep to your old old school scratch DJs. I mean, you name the type of music. I mean, we have a we have a venue that we promote for Elysium that caters to and does a lot of the goth industrial and that. So I mean, there's there's a venue. And a, a, a place to play any genre of music here in Austin. Awesome. Whether and day or night. And there's a place night. for everybody. So it's great to have a website like your guys' where it actually highlights them. So when I'm looking just for something on the entertainment side, I don't have to go through all this other junk on Google or these other sites. I could just go strictly to your guys' site, which highlights the entertainment for the most part. Getting into that, John's just walking into the studio. Hey, guys. <laughs> He's with the Knight from Austin. We're going to talk with him a little bit. Um get his insight on what's going on around the city and see what he has to say about it. Thanks, Jake. Well, welcome, John. You, yeah, Absolutely. You, you too. <laughs> you too. So how's it been going with the night in Austin? Uh, borderline phenomenal. Uh, That's if good. It was any better, it would be phenomenal. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> all right. All right. So we saw you a couple of weeks ago at the Willie Nelson concert. That was awesome. His, what was it, 81st birthday party? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. And... Luckily, I had ran into uh, John and them, and they got me backstage and got into the little clubhouse, and they all watched the concerts, so that was pretty cool. And I know that's a little bit of the stuff that you guys do, but I want to hear it from your mouth. Um, what do you guys do? How did it get started? 
uh, what's all involved with it, and what, what do you guys have going on? Well, the, the story behind A Night in Austin is actually A Night in, uh, the uh, Night Out Sites to Optimal Media Group, which right. is our mother company. We're basically a franchise, but we're all locally owned and operated. Um, I came here um, to Austin about seven years ago, and my secretary at the time, uh, they have budget constraints of the company I work for, which I probably cannot say the company. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, I always asked her every Friday, where do I go in Austin to have a good time? And every reply I got it on, on every single Friday, was 6th Street. Well, I got it, and no offense to the vendors on 6th Street, because we promote for a lot of you guys. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to find the local places. I wanted to find the ma-pa places that I was raised on. I was in the restaurant industry for 20 years. And she said, John, would you like to be able to find out where these places are? I said, yeah, I've been asking you for years now. And she goes, how would you like to tell other people how to do the same? Wow. And I said, well, yeah, how do I do it? She goes, well, here's a night in Austin. So we start in our partnership there. Uh, that has been a little over five years ago. And we've been just growing and growing and growing. Kicking every butt ever since is the way I see it. Well, right now, we're the most comprehensive website. We're an online directory. It's known to other companies out there. But we do a lot of things that are different. First of all, you know, as a business owner, we're the most comprehensive and the most, most least expensive form of advertising in Austin today when it comes to online directors. All right. We want to make it affordable for the local businessmen. We're not out there to put them out of business. We're there to gain their business. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we're not after the money. We're after to make people money. That's the whole concept of a night in Austin. And I'm proud to say that the staff we have, um, they, they all are on the same wavelength. They that's wanna, awesome. They want to help the businesses. You know? um, and that's one of the things that I like about a night in Austin. There's no greed factor involved. Yeah, money controls a lot of people's actions and what they do and their motivations behind them. Oh, so. it gets worse and worse every day, and that's why I really believe in our company. Uh, another thing is also that we supply everything and anything they can, anything from our merchandise to our bulk email services to our social media sites, radio plugs. Um, we do featured listing, blog spots. We do SMS and MMS text messaging. Uh, we do pretty much everything there is. We make commercials. Uh, we <laughs> I mean, that is awesome. So you, it looks like you guys are pretty advanced as far as the, your structure and your advertising, uh, where you get it out to your network and um, throughout the whole community of that. What would you say throughout the years of being involved with the night in Austin? What are some of the top events that you look back on and remember? and that made some of your favorite moments through the night in Austin. Uh, that's very easy. The most memorable I had was about three years ago when we had the Bass Trout fires. All right. Um, I was responsible for 12 different establishments that we got products and money and everything else that could be donated to the Bass Trout Fire Victims Fund. We, of course they accepted money, but the products that we got from just the patrons mm -hmm. of these establishments, um, I was dealing with three churches. They called me up after about three weeks and said, John, we love you guys. We have no more room for the things that you're bringing. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so we had a couple of different um, concert events. At the, uh, we had three different concert events at different venues. So that was one of my most proud. We've done a lot um, for establishments, bringing in new clientele. And the nice thing about this is, just like every other company, we focalize on the locals. You know, we have a calendar page that their SEOs go right to Google, the Google hits, uh, and my mother company does a lot of that for us. But the nice thing about it is that we also go outside the box. There's, as Austin, uh, I believe, mentioned, I was listening earlier uh, on the way here, and I heard him say that there's 475 different cities besides us out there that we all work together in yeah. a conglomeration. Well, what's great about this is somebody's in Philadelphia, and they're already familiar with the night in Philadelphia to make it very easy for them, the first thing they're more than likely going to do is look at a night in Austin because we all work together. We drive in the tourism dollar like none other. There's an That's huge. Well, there's an estimated in 2014 with X Games and with uh, Circuit of the Americas and a lot of other different things, uh, South by Southwest, ACL. Um, there's an estimated $1.4 billion going to be spent here in Austin this year. Wow, the tourism dollar is huge for any city and any any place, even any country. Is huge, well, absolutely. So. And like I said, the locals can look at our calendar and see, you know, um, we're at a venue, um, and they go to a, they're regular at a venue, but they forget that there's an event going on. They go to a night in Austin calendar, and they, and they look at it and say, wow, you know, 
there it, we forgot that, that was playing there. The nice thing is it's like the Google of just events and fun stuff going on in the area. You don't have to try to go through all these searches and see who's paying this or doing that. It's all events, all fun of everything going on in Austin. So Jacob, that's but, awesome. Well, that, that's a great point. Um, what's nice about this is they, when people build their own profiles, they can edit it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If they have a band, let's just say a, uh, a venue has a band playing on Saturday night, and just so happens the lead singer's wife just had a baby. Well, they're not going to be able to play that night more than likely. Well, the people can go there, call another band, and they can instantly, without calling our company, they go instantly to the computer with their own username and password and change the event right then and there. Oh, that's you just giving them the capabilities of dealing with life as it comes, I guess. It's in their hands. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we build, we build Give them the control. Form. We promote for them, but you know what? Give them the control. Exactly. Great absolutely. point. Great absolutely. point. Absolutely. I like that. So we're going to start wrapping it up here pretty soon. Definitely like what you guys have going on. Um, I know Austin was telling us about some of the upcoming events that you guys will be hosting and promoting. Can you tell us a little bit, uh, just out of your own words, of what you have going on and how you feel about all this? Uh, I think we have the theme song for Austin coming up and a couple different things. So Some CD release parties. CD um, release, a lot of stuff. It's hard to even remember everything you guys have going on. We have a lot going on. But the, the main focal point you just mentioned was the... Um, we came up with the, the concept of coming up with a Night in Austin theme song. The reason is there's not a lot of people out there pushing the live music capital of the world. There's not. It is. Yeah, it's but it's fortunate, but it is. And we should put, and that's what we're, we're focusing on, is pushing it out there. And we're inviting any of the local artists that either have performed or are continuing to perform here in Austin to come up with a theme song dedicated to Austin. There are parodies out there. There's no mentions of, you know, um, Austin in, in a couple different songs here and there, but we want one basically designed for the people and the musicians in Austin. That's what we're looking for. And once again, submit your entry, uh, put it on YouTube, and then send that link, if you would, to song at a night in Austin com, and we will review that. We're also going to be taking that until September 1st, October 2nd, we're going to have a premiere of that. Uh, the place is a little secretive right now, so we have to, uh, where the premiere is going to be, uh, we want to boast it out as a, some really great news. Um, but yeah, that's one thing we're really, really focusing on. All right, you guys have tons of stuff going on. Now, if they want to get a hold of you or find more information about all this stuff, what is the best place to go to? What is the website address again? What is your guys' best contact information if a local business, company, organization wants to get a hold of you, a musician wants to get a hold of you, somebody wants to contact you, what is the best possible way to do that? Well, the, uh, a day in Austin are two separate entities. There's www.anightinaustin.com. Now, in anightinaustin.com, we focus predominantly on bars, restaurants, accommodations, perhaps transportation also in our explorer section. And also, another nice thing that I believe that we do is that we do not charge our musicians to have their profiles up there and to promote their gigs. We don't charge them one single penny and never will. That's awesome. It's hard for musicians. I know that I came from a family of musicians. So. Uh, well, it's tough. There's a lot of music, a lot of talented musicians here in town. Um, and myself, personally, I don't believe sometimes they're getting the pay that they should. So that's our part that we can do to help the musicians. Absolutely. The give them a little bit more uh, promote publicity. Their gigs. Yeah, promote absolutely. their gigs. Promote where they're going. Um, so we have a night in Austin com. Yes, and then on a day in Austin com, different retrospect. This is more for families, for All businessmen, right. community activities, recreation. Um, if you have a business, a daytime business, we'd be more than happy to promote you on a day in Austin. That's www.adayinaustin.com. All right, now is there a good phone number or anything that they could contact you guys if a local business maybe wants to get a hold of you to see how they could get their business on a day in Austin or a night in Austin? Absolutely. And the, and the best way to actually uh, to learn about it is actually to go to the website. To go to the website. Right. right. We have a blog section in our calendar of events. Um, you have a great description. The nice thing about the descriptions is that when you're out there in social media land, which is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Every day. Print publication is going down and down and down. And that's just the way society is going today. What's nice about this is people could list their websites, their email address, their Facebook accounts, their Twitter accounts, their Google Plus accounts, their LinkedIn accounts, and the list goes on and on and on. It's pretty much your whole online image or your reputation online. You could almost list in one area and go there and be found instead of having to look for their Facebook or their Twitter because I know my wife, she's a big Facebook person. Everywhere she goes, she has to check in. She has to do the Facebook. She has to do that. 
Um, me, I do some Twitter, I do some Facebook, I do some Google Plus, I do a little bit of everything, but it looks like I could go to your site and find them wherever my favorite social site or my favorite outlet is, I could go to find them there just based off of your site. All the links are right there. It just click Makes the link easy. Facebook page, click the link for their Twitter page, and it goes directly to them. Another nice thing is that people can actually take their special that they have or their establishment copy the URL and put it on any social media site and it will come back from that link when people click it on on any social media site and come back to a professional looking profile. Wow, that's huge, that's huge. Now I have a question. <clears throat> I have some friends in different countries. Now what if I have somebody looking at your site that's maybe a buddy of mine in Japan. Uh, one of my buddies, his wife and their family is all from Japan. So what if they come to Austin and they want to have fun, how could they look at your site if maybe they don't I guess maybe English isn't their first language. That's a great point, Jacob. Uh, right now, is, we are international. Uh, we have 56 international cities out there. Right now, uh, Osaka is not on there. Uh, Taiwan is not on there. But if they come here to the United States and they're not fluent, but are aware somehow, some way of the night out sites, we're one of the only. In fact, I've never seen a website where you can convert the, every single profile into 65 other languages to make it comprehensible for every single person out there. Wow, 65 other languages. That's huge. That's almost pretty much any language you could think of out there. They could go to your site, have it translated from English to their language, and actually see the site in their full language. Absolutely, and not only the profile of what the place they want to go to, but all the counter events, the locations where it's at, and also the different types of genres of different styles of restaurants per se, or a different bar or entertainment. Wow, that's huge. That's huge to me because I know uh, my buddy's family, he come, they come out and they love to go do whatever's local. They, they come to Austin, they want to do all the local Austin stuff, but um, sometimes they're looking and it just kind of gets a little confusing. They ask my buddy or his wife a lot, what's this, what's this, what's this, what's this, what's this, what's this. Where on your site they could just go and it kind of saves them from the what's this. It's, I guess would leave them only with the major questions of, you know, how do we get there? You right, know? right. And they could read where to get there in their own exactly, language. Exactly, you know? exactly. Uh, and not only is it good for the people that uh, would look at the site, the clients, but it's also great for the business people because it's an open door that they never had before. Absolutely. So we're very excited about that, Jacob. That's awesome. Well, I think that's just probably going to wrap, wrap it up for the broadcast today. Uh, once again, we had uh, John and Austin from A Night and A Day in Austin. Definitely appreciate it. And we have been broadcasting live from a little table at Sherlock's off the 183.